Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube. On today's video, um, it's going to be a quick tutorial on how to reinstall or uninstall Windows Store app from your Windows 10 machine. Now, if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button. And before I proceed with the steps, the whatever steps, what I'm going to suggest is based on the experience what uh, which has been held for me. In case if this doesn't work, please try the steps um, and um, please try the steps carefully and make sure you do not miss out any steps uh, on this video. Now, the first thing what you will have to do is um, in order to remove Windows Store completely from your computer, you will have to uh, open Cortana on your computer screen and go ahead and type PowerShell. Basically, you're opening PowerShell on your computer, Windows PowerShell. You do a right click on the Windows PowerShell and run as administrator. In case if you get user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now in the PowerShell, you will have to go ahead and type this command, which is get dash app x package space the state line space remove minus app package and hit enter. Now, when you run this command, please make sure you uh, you have closed all of your browsers. Uh, please make sure uh, you don't have any browser open on your computer screen and um, it make sure you don't have any other programs open on your computer. So what this will do is this will remove all the um, Windows uh, apps which are currently installed on the computer and it will also remove Windows Store on from your computer so you will have to wait till um, all the activities are completed and uh, this is how um, this is how the screen would look like and the amount the time taken to complete this process depends on the amount uh, the speed of your computer and uh, also the amount of data what you have on your computer screen so let's wait until uh, until uh, the uh, when this process is completed you look at the screen um, the command has been successfully completed but we do have some of the error message which you can go ahead and ignore it but if you, at the same time if you look at uh, the screen uh, all the apps which were installed from Windows Store and also the Windows Store has been completely removed from the computer so what this command will do is it will remove all the apps which were installed from the Windows Store and also the uh, it will remove the windows store so please make sure in case if you have any data associated with any of the apps make sure you take a backup of it in case if you're not sure of your data uh, please make sure you do not use this command line so the what the next step what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and restart your computer once we restart your computer you will have to uh, open the command prompt again by uh, opening Cortana on your computer screen and type PowerShell. Right click on Windows PowerShell and click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes. And uh, here you can go ahead and paste this command. I'm going to uh, use all the commands in the video description. You can follow the commands from there. Hit Enter. So what this will do is this will reinstall Windows Store using this command line. So basically um, the Windows Store which we uninstalled using the previous command will be restored using this command line. So wait and at the same time please do remember you make sure you go ahead and close all the browser so if you go back and uh, look at the computer screen uh, here we have a Microsoft Store restored back on the computer so what the second command has been done is it has restored the Windows Store on the computer but the apps which we were removed using the first command line has been uh, completely removed uh, from the computer uh, in that case you will have to make sure to go ahead and reinstall those apps now when you use the second command line if you use this when you use this command line in case if you get all these error message in case if you get these error message while reinstalling um, the command line uh, the next step for you to is to go ahead and create a new Windows user account. So what new Windows user account will do is it will go ahead and uh, 
uh, restore all your built-in apps the only thing what you will have to keep it keep in mind is you will have to transfer the data from one user account from your old user account to a new user account so i will be creating another user uh, video on how to transfer data from one user account to a new user account without corrupting uh, without transferring um, the corruption from old user to new user so i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure you hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching you have a great day